Rain is now long gone, had kind of some lighter showers persistent through the afternoon and into the early evening. All of that now long gone. We're still under mostly cloudy skies. However, the clearing line continues to get a little bit closer to us and within the next few hours, more clear sky and a lot more sunshine on the way for tomorrow. Good visibility at the moment could see some patchy fog overnight. Not very widespread. I don't think 68 degrees and winds much lighter than they had been. We did see the winds kind of pick up a bit as the associated with a weak low when you get these kind of almost squall lines move through, although the line of storms had significantly weakened by the time it got to us kind of on the back side of it. You can get these systems that pick up the winds and we did see that at times on the south shore. Temperatures are in the 60s, dew points in the 60s, and this is about a, as cool as we're going to get. Now the winds have subsided significantly from where they had been. There is still the possibility of some winds picking up on the Mississippi coast in the next couple of hours, so the weather service there is maintaining the wind advisory until 1 a.m. But it has been lifted for all of southeast Louisiana and also going to maintain that gale warning in the lake and near shore waters. But that too doesn't look to be as much of an issue through the rest of the night and much lighter wind during the day tomorrow. All of our rainfall unfortunately was not associated with a cold front, so no cool air, no real dry air with it. All this upper disturbance did was trigger our showers and thunderstorms around the area, and at least that is clearing out and much of this week will be far drier. In fact, even as our rain chance is picking up toward the end of the week, week we're not expecting anything like we saw earlier this morning. So rainfall long gone. We'll gradually see our clearing skies over the next couple of hours and a lot more sunshine to begin and continue throughout the day on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we'll start to see a few passing clouds at times. A little bit of early morning fog is possible to begin the day Wednesday. Passing clouds at times even associated with some thunderstorms off to our west, but for the most part we will stay dry. Thursday, we're looking at a bit more cloudiness and then by Friday, probably a few scattered showers. Now, as far as the entirety of our Jazz Fest weekend goes, I don't think we're going to have really any issues on Friday. We'll have the better chance for some rainfall, but even that is not looking too great, at least at the moment. We're drier on Saturday, but likely under mostly cloudy skies and the same for Sunday, mostly dry, but we'll probably see a little more clouds than sunshine. As far as those rain chances go for us, most of our area not really looking at any kind of a flooding threat, and even those that do western parishes could see some isolated downpours, especially as that system moves in for a little bit of street flooding. I don't believe that's going to be a widespread issue at all. And as of right now, Metro New Orleans is not included in that. So it looks like what rain we would see kind of similar to today. It will be weakening by the time it got into the area again, but we're not expecting quite the rain coverage that we saw even during the day today. So mostly sunny during the day tomorrow. A few more clouds and again an isolated shower chance. Mostly cloudy on Thursday. That better rain chance arise for Friday, but then we're warm and humid with heat indices nearing and probably above 90 degrees for this weekend and we will stay warm and humid to begin next week.